two boxes of candy have the same price. The chocolate candy contains 12 and 9 over 20 ounces. And the fruit candy, let's say this is the chocolate, and the fruit candy contains 12 and 7 16 ounces. Which candy is the better buy? Well, I need to make the denominators the same so that I can compare. The 12 and the 12 are not going to give me any information here because they are the same. So really what I'm going to be doing is comparing these two fractions, 9 over 20 and 7 over 16. Let's find their common denominator. Multiples of 20 are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, Let's try some of 16 and see if they've met up. 16, 32, um, 48, um, 64, 4 is, uh, and then 80. All right, so we have found our LCD 80. Another way to do that is with the factor tree. 4 times 5, 2 times 2, and 5. And here, 4 times 4, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. And you take all the factors that they do not have in common. So for example, 2 and 2, 2 and 2. They have those in common, so I'm going to take only one set of them. And then these are all the ones that they do not have in common. A 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. These are doubles here, repeats. So that's why I'm only t I'm t crossing these out only taking this set. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 times 4 is 80. So here there's two different ways. You could list multiples, or you could use the factor trees and find all the factors they do not have in common. So we're going to make both numbers, denominators here, into 80 so that we can compare their numerators. 20 times 4 is 80, so on top, 9 times 4 is 36. 16 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 80. So on top, 7 times 5 is 35. And as you can see, they're very, very close in fractions. So 36 is larger than 35. So the better buy, if you wanted to have more ounces per cost, is going to be the chocolate. The chocolate is the better buy. Thank you for watching educator.com.